Hey guys, it's Raul again, and today I'm bringing you my end of the year book haul. So I'm going to keep my introduction short because I have a lot of books to show you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump in. So the first couple things that I want to show you are bookish related. They aren't actually books. But the first thing is something that I can't physically show you guys because it is the camera that I'm filming with. My parents were awesome enough to get me a brand new camera for Christmas. So yeah, I'm hoping this gives me better quality on my videos. Let me know down below if you guys can see any kind of difference in quality and everything. So yeah, that's the first thing that I ended up getting for Christmas. The second bookish related item that I ended up picking up was this Miss Marvel pop vinyl figure, which I'm super, super excited about. I haven't read the Miss Marvel series yet, but I've heard absolutely amazing things about this series and about Miss Marvel and everything. And I have every intention of reading this series. And what, but when I saw this pop vinyl, I had to pick it up because I knew it was something that I was going to enjoy that I wanted on my bookshelves. And the last bookish item that I ended up getting was one of these finger pointer bookmarks one of my coworkers got me, which I'm super, super excited about because it's one of these where you can kind of move the finger up and down um, to kind of hold your exact spot on the page, which I desperately need because I'm always losing my spot while I'm reading in the middle of pages and everything. So I'm excited to have one of these finally. Now on to the books. Now the first book that I ended up picking up was right after my last haul. I just didn't have it with me, so I didn't really show it or anything. But that was Unblemished by Sarah Ella. Sarah Ella is a booktuber. I will leave her channel linked down below. But this is her debut novel. It is a fantasy novel about this girl who has a scar on her face. And kind of this scar um, is kind of the salvation to another world. Like there's an alternate New York City and stuff like that. It sounds really cool. I've been hearing really good things about the series. So I picked it up because, yeah, I mean, why not support a fellow booktuber? The next two books that I picked up were from Paperback Swap, the first one being The Stranger by Harlan Coben. I don't know much about this one, but I really enjoy Harlan Coben's writing. I know this was about, I think it's a man who kind of shows up out of nowhere and says something to people, and then it kind of changes their lives, whatever it is that they tell them. I think that's kind of the synopsis. But like I said, it sounded intriguing. It was on paperback swap, and I like Harlan Coben, so I ended up picking this one up. Then I picked up Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. I haven't read anything other than The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn, which I absolutely loved, and I've been meaning to pick up other things by her. So when I saw that paperback swap had a Gillian Flynn novel, any Gillian Flynn novel, I had to jump on it and grab it because I still had a credit. So yes, I'm super excited to get into this one. I have no idea what Sharp Objects is about, but I'm really excited to finally read a full-length novel by Gillian Flynn. Now the next couple of books I ended up picking up randomly from Barnes & Noble because I had coupons and everything. The first one was The Chemist by Stephanie Myers. I am sort of done with this book. I will talk about it more during my wrap up and during my best and worst uh, books of the year and everything. But yeah, I have a lot of thoughts and a lot of opinions on this book and more of those thoughts will come at later videos, but yeah, I have this book. The next two books that I picked up from Barnes & Noble with my coupons were book two and book three in the School for Good and Evil series by Saman Chanani. I'm currently buddy reading this series with my wife. We read the first one a couple months back, so we ended up picking the next two so we can continue on with our buddy read. I'm super excited to finally have these because it is a series that I am enjoying. It's middle grade, it's about these two girls that get sent off to the school for good. One of them goes to the school for good and one of them goes to the school for evil and neither of them kind of feel that they want to be in those schools and they it's the whole mess that ensues after that because they're wanting to swap schools and everything. But it's a really, really fun middle grade series that we're really enjoying so far. So yes, we have these two also. Now the next batch of books were ones that I picked up during the Black Friday sale at Book Outlet. I only ended up picking up five or so books. I didn't want to pick up too many, but these are books that I feel like I needed to read that I've been hearing a lot of things about um, and books that I feel like I needed. The first one I, that I felt like I needed was book six in the series of unfortunate events series. This is the last book that I needed to complete my set of the series of unfortunate events series. So now I have a completed set of this series and I can start my reread and everything before the show comes out. I think I read this one back when I like was reading this series back in college, um, but I don't remember really anything. So I'm just going to start the whole series all over again, but now I have all of them, which I'm super excited. I have a full set, so I'm hoping to get through these um, at some point in 2017, but yes, I'm excited about this full set now. The next book I picked up from Book Outlet was one that I didn't pick up for myself, but I've, I'm kind of inclined to read it because it sounds pretty interesting, and that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. I've never read anything by Morgan Madsen before, but I've heard great things 
about her writing and everything. So I've heard good things about this book. I'm excited to have it. It was fairly cheap book outlet. I mean, why can't go wrong with cheap books through book outlet. So I picked this one up. But like I said, this was more for my wife because she's been wanting to read this one but I'm probably going to end up reading it too. The next two books that I picked up from there were part of a duology, and that is The Perfectionist and The Good Girls by Sarah Shepard. These are the two books in The Perfectionist duology. Uh, yeah, Trina from Between Chapters talks about these books so much about Sarah Shepard, and I currently started reading uh, the Lion Game series, and I've read the first two books in that series, and I'm loving Sarah Shepard and her writing, and these mysteries, and she's kind of like intertwining and just like they keep going on and they're just so interesting and so awesome so I'm excited to have these two books in this duology finally because this sounds super interesting it's about these five girls who get kind of harassed or kind of have these bad encounters with this one guy so they kind of come together to find a way to murder this kid and then one day the guy ends up dead in the way that they were planning on killing him but neither of them did it. So it, it's, it's kind of like the mystery revolving around um, who could have killed him and all of that kind of stuff because it, they, none of them say it was them. So it sounds really interesting. Trina says it's pretty awesome. And like I said, I'm liking Sarah Shepard's writing and everything so far. So I'm really excited to finally have these. And the last book that I picked up from the book outlet sale was The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is a high fantasy series about a man and kind of his life. That's kind of really all I know. I heard it's absolutely wonderful and amazing. I haven't heard a single negative thing about this book so far. So I'm super excited to finally have it. When I saw that they had the kind of larger paperback version and not the mass market paperback, I had to jump on it and grab it. So yes, I finally have this one. Hopefully I can get to it fairly soon. Now the next mass amount of books that I ended up uh, acquiring were all Christmas gifts from friends, from my wife, from family and everything. So yes, let's just go ahead and jump into it because this is the majority of the book haul. Now I'll go ahead and start with the books that I got from my wife. The first one being I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This is a contemporary story about these two twins, a boy and a girl, and kind of their lives and their story about kind of their, their falling out, I guess. Um, I heard really great things about this one. I know it's told in like past and present. I think one of the twins is saying is telling us the present story. One of them is telling us the past and everything and kind of how they eventually come together and they let you know kind of what it was that happened. So yeah, I mean, it sounds really interesting. I've heard really good things. And the next two books that my wife got me for Christmas were H2O and The Storm by Virginia Bergen. Uh, I have heard of these books, I think it was through like the monthly recommendations videos um, group. And I know this is a dystopian story about the rain being poison and killing everybody. So everyone's kind of like trying to hide from the rain. That's pretty much all I know. I've heard pretty good things about it though. So I had to put it on my wish list. So I'm super excited that she got both of these for me. Then my wife got me The Passenger by Lisa Lutz. I don't know much about this. I think it's about from the synopsis about a woman who murdered her husband and is kind of now on the run and is uh, like taking on different identities because she doesn't want anybody to know that she murdered her husband but I think she has her husband with her like it's weird I think from the from what I read in the synopsis her husband is actually in the trunk of the car with her like she took her husband with her I mean I could be wrong but either way it sounds really interesting this one wasn't on my wish list but my wife read the synopsis and thought it was something that I would enjoy and it does sound like something that I'm going to enjoy. So I'm really excited to have this one. Then she also ended up getting me House of Thieves by Charles Belfour. Another one that wasn't on my list, but she read the synopsis and thought, I would like this one. I think it's about these guys who build these houses and then build secret passages in these houses to kind of steal from the people living inside of them. From what she told me, it sounds really interesting. It sounds like something that I'm really going to enjoy. It's an autographed copy also, which I'm really, really excited about. So yeah, this is one I think that I'm going to read sooner than later because I haven't heard anybody at all talk about this book. I had no idea this book was even in existence. So I kind of want to read this book before I hear anything about it so that I can kind of put my own thoughts and everything into perspective about this one. So yeah. I'm super excited to have this one, and I kind of really like this cover too. And the last book my wife got me was An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This is one that I don't really need to talk about too much because a lot of people here on BookTube have already read it and everything. I'm super excited I finally have it, and I can get into this series because I've heard pretty good things about this one. And yeah, I've had my eye on this one for a while, but haven't, I don't know, for some reason just haven't picked it up, but I'm, I'm so glad that she got it for me because 
Yes, I've, I've been wanting to read this one for a while. The next four books I got were all part of a series and one that my sister actually ended up picking up for me, and that is the Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Shima. This one I'm super excited for. I've heard great things about Cinda Williams Shima. I've never read anything by her before, but yes, I mean, I love fantasy, and this series I heard is pretty amazing, so I'm super excited that I have the entire box set. Then my brother and my sister-in-law ended up picking up for me Ashley Bell by Dean Koontz. Dean Koontz, for a lot of you guys that know, is my favorite author. I've been wanting to read this one for a long time, and I'm super, super excited that I have it. I think it's kind of his version of Gone Girl, like people are comparing it to Gone Girl. If you like Gone Girl, you're gonna like this one about this girl named Ashley Bell, and I think she's on the run, or she's like faking her death or something like that, but it sounds really interesting. This is one that I'm hoping to get to fairly soon, because I haven't read anything by Dean Koontz, and I feel like it's been a year or two since I've picked anything up by Dean Koontz. And it's about time that I end up picking up something else by Dean Koontz again, because he's, he's very familiar to me. I've read like 20-something books of his, and I love his writing style, so I'm super, super excited that I have this one. Then the next couple of books were gifts from my good friend Dai at Dai619, which I will link her page down below, and she was nice enough to send me some books for Christmas. First one being The Dead House by Don Kurtigic. This is one of those books that it's told in mixed media, which is like super, super exciting because it's got like, you know, all these different things, kind of like Illumine. Uh, and yes, I don't really know much about it other than The Dead House. Like it was in someone's recommendation video and it sounded really awesome. So I threw it on my Amazon wish list and I ended up getting it for Christmas, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, I feel like this is one that's going to fit, read fairly quickly because of the mixed media format. They tend to read a little bit quicker. So, yes, I mean, I don't know. Other than that, I'm excited to have this one. <laughs> I also ended up getting me Bits and Pieces by Jonathan Mayberry. This is the fifth book uh, in the Rotten Ruin series, and for those of you who know, Di and I, read, Buddy read the entire Rotten Ruin series last year, and we absolutely loved it. Like, Rotten Ruin is probably one of my favorite YA series that I've ever read, and this is the fifth book, which is a bind-up of a lot of the short stories that Jonathan Mayberry wrote uh, for the Rotten Ruin kind of world. So I'm excited to have this one. I'm probably going to end up buddy reading this one with Dai also because I love this series and these books read, for me at least, really, really fast. I get through these books so quickly because they're just so easy to get into and everything and so much fun to read. And Dai also got me Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. This is the first book in the Great Library series. I've heard amazing things about this series from a lot of my friends here on BookTube. And yes, I'm excited to have this one. I know it's kind of an alternate history uh, story. And other than that, I really don't know much other than it being an alternate history story. But yeah, I've heard it's really fun. I heard it's really great. I also ended up getting me one more book, which I had to exchange. But I will let you guys know later on as I'm showing you the rest of the books why I had to end up exchanging it because I ended up getting a duplicate of this book also. My co-workers actually ended up getting me more books, uh, which I'm super excited about because I was not expecting my co-workers to get me any books at all or anything for Christmas whatsoever, and I ended up getting some stuff from them. The first book being Replica by Lauren Oliver, and this is also the book that Di ended up getting me for Christmas, the fourth book that she ended up picking up for me, but the version that she got me unfortunately didn't come with this beautiful dust jacket, so it was missing the dust jacket. But because I ended up getting a duplicate copy anyways, I had to exchange it, so... But this is Lauren Oliver's newest book about these two girls named Lyra and Gemma, and I think one of them is a clone, or they, she lives in a laboratory or something like that. And kind of these intertwining stories, like you can flip this book and read it kind of back and forth, and go back and forth between the chapters and everything, because this the two stories intertwine. It sounds really interesting, I absolutely love Lauren Oliver's writing, and I've heard okay things about this one, but I want to kind of read it to kind of see for myself because I tend to enjoy Lauren Oliver books, so I'm super excited that I have this one. And then my co-worker also ended up getting me Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I'm super excited that I finally have this one. I've heard absolutely amazing things about it. Everybody on booktube has been telling me that I'm going to love this book, so I'm hoping that I love this book. A lot of people say that it's definitely not overhyped, so we will see what happens with this one, but I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. I'm super, super excited that I finally have it. And yes, this was definitely a very, very unexpected gift for me this year. And the last two books that I picked up 
were two books that I picked up with a gift card that my boss actually gave me. And the first book that I actually ended up picking up was Scythe by Neil Shusterman. This is a new book by Neil Shusterman in a new series. I've never read anything by Neil Shusterman before, but I've heard really good things about his writing and his books. A lot of people here on BookTube have read his stuff before, but this sounded super, super intriguing when I saw the synopsis about it. It's about this like dystopian world, it's futuristic, where there's no sickness, there's no like wars or anything anymore. And kind of this society has even come up with a way of not dying. So there's no death either. So they have kind of deemed this group of people called the Scythe that are going around kind of killing people. They're the ones kind of in charge of killing off the people that they need to kill off to kind of control the population. And our two main characters are sent to become Scythe and neither of them want to become Scythe because neither of them want to go around killing people, but they have been kind of ordered to go and become Scythe and train to be kind of that controller of the population. It sounds really interesting. It sounds a little bit darker than normal uh, YA. So yeah, I'm super, super excited to get into this one because I haven't heard anybody talk about this. I think like, I think this is fairly new where nobody's really talked about it yet, but I'm excited to get into this one because this is another book that I want to read before I hear anything about it so that I can kind of put my own thoughts into it and not kind of have anybody else's thoughts in the back of my mind as I'm reading it. So I'm really excited to pick this one up because it sounded amazing when I saw it. And the last book, finally, that I picked up for Christmas was The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. This is one that I've been wanting for a while now. I've heard pretty good things about it recently on booktube about this kind of robot cyborg named Nemesis and she's a diabolic and the diabolics are kind of ordered to protect the people that they were created for. So I think uh, Nemesis is ordered to protect the princess I believe or like somebody higher up in like the government and I think that the only way she thinks that she can protect this princess is by taking her place. So it's kind of everything that ensues after that. I've heard really good things. This cover is absolutely gorgeous. So I was really excited to pick this one up. And yeah, like I said, I've heard great things about this one so far, and I'm hoping to get to this one fairly soon. So yeah, guys, that is it for my giant Christmas book haul. Comment down below. Let me know some of the favorite things that you picked up during Christmas. If you guys have read any of the books that I picked up during Christmas and what your thoughts were and everything, please no spoilers. Thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you all next time.